of all my luxury items, these are the ones that I would buy over and over again. So this is a tag video and I was tagged by my gorgeous friend and co-host of the luxury live show, Fashionably Amy. So thank you for tagging me. I've been thinking about it and yeah, I've got some pieces. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I am going to do a tag video called luxury items that I would buy over and over again because they are just so awesome. I have a variety of things. So I've got bags, I've got skincare, I've got makeup. And that's because that's my channel, right? I do luxury reviews on handbags, skincare and makeup. And some of these luxury like non-handbag ones are pretty, pretty up there. But I would buy them over and over again because they are really awesome. And because Christmas is just around the corner, maybe some of these items could give you an idea of what you could give someone for an amazing Christmas present. So I'm going to start off with jewelry and I'm going to share with you the jewelry that I actually received from Ana Luisa and this portion of the video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. So I have a box from them as usual. They have amazing packaging and these really make awesome awesome gifts. In fact, I want to show you the one that I bought for my mom I think was last year. Was it last year? Yeah, it was last year during Mel and Melbourne's collaboration with the pearl earrings. If I can find a photo with me and my mom, I will post it here. And these are the earrings from the Mel and Melbourne co collaboration that she did with Anna Luisa. So I bought one pair for my mom and I bought one pair for myself. And they are so beautiful. I don't know if you could still get this on the Anna Luisa site, but I do know that she has another collaboration which I wear all the time on my wrist. This, the day that I received this bracelet, I have been wearing it non-stop. It has not left my wrist. That means I've showered with it, I have gone to the gym with it. It would make such a beautiful gift. I actually gifted this to my niece as well as my sister-in-law as well. And my niece is like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So they actually make really amazing, affordable luxury pieces. So let me show you a few other pieces that I got. And you know, Ana Luisa is a sustainable company. So they don't just make jewelry and harm the earth, right? They do jewelry cautious, consciously. Is that the right word? Is that how you say it? Like they make jewelry from recycled metals and recycled silver. I, I like that. Like, you know, it's all about sustainability now. And you know, with everything that's happening, climate change, you want to try and reuse things. So let me show you a few of the necklaces that I got and oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Okay, this is the Robbie necklace and it's sort of like this a flat plate uh, necklace piece. This one, when you go out into the sunlight, it's going to be so, so shiny. And I love the fact that you can actually adjust the length if you don't want to wear it too short or like a choker. I think this is super, super pretty. And you can wear it on its own, or you can stack it, or if you don't wear necklaces, you can always give it away. So that's the Robbie necklace. And it all comes in these kind of like cute little pouches. I have a butterfly tattoo, and when I saw this, I was just immediately drawn to it. I was thinking, oh, that's gonna match my tattoo. You know, that's a really good gifting idea. Like if you know somebody who has tattoos or has a, you know, maybe like a love to a particular shape or pattern. Anna Luisa has so many patterns. There were heart shapes, stars, moons. Like for me, when I look at a butterfly, you won't think I'm a butterfly person, but I actually have a butterfly tattoo. So this is one of them and I thought that's gonna match. And it's another necklace. Great for layering as well. That's so pretty and dainty, isn't it? Ah, love it. When I saw these puffy heart earrings, I knew I had to get them because one of my favorite puffy heart necklaces from uh, Anna Luisa. Oh my gosh, I wear it so much at the beginning when I got it, but then I was so afraid to get it damaged. So I sort of wear it for like special occasions. I love that puff. It's so like, you know, I don't know. It's like a, it's just so puffy and cute. So when they have the earrings, I was like, oh my gosh, I need them. So let me just change out my earrings. So like I said earlier, they have a range of jewellery. They have their fine jewellery with diamonds and solid gold, but they also have recycled silver and they also use brass. So really depends on what you prefer. For me, I haven't had any issues with Ana Luisa ear earrings, especially for earrings, because I have very sensitive skin. All the earrings that I have used from Ana Luisa, I haven't had any issues with it. So if any of the people that you are you know, going to gift it to, you don't have to be worried about them 
you know, being sensitive to earrings. Of course, if you want to play it safe, bracelets, necklaces, um, rings would be easier. But if you know that person loves like earrings or they have like a ear stack, so far so good for me. I haven't had any issue with um, the quality from Ana Luisa. Let me show you the final piece and if there's anything in the entire collection from Ana Luisa that you want to buy, I say go for this. This is Isabel Styles necklace or Isabel's necklace. Oh my goodness, this is such an amazing, amazing piece. This is the second piece I got because I actually want to stack two pearls together. It is such a beautiful necklace. It's the box chain and this pearl, which is a freshwater pearl, does not move. For yourself, for your mom, for your sister, for your best friend, for your best friend's best friend. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Butterfly, flat chain, pearl, so amazing. It is a really great time to get items from Ana Luisa now because they are having sales and I also have a discount code. I will link it down below. But yeah, just go onto the site, check out everything, get something for yourself, you know, buy something for yourself, you know, YOLO. <laughs> so anyway, thank you to Ana Luisa for these amazing pieces. And yeah, guys, remember to go and check them out. So sticking with luxury items that I can wear, the first is this Apple Watch. I don't know why it took me so long to get this, but this is one that I would buy over and over again. When this is time for replacement, I would get it again. I feel like I would still get the Hermes version because I love the different faces from Hermes. Although I have to say I use the sports version more because when I go cycling or I do my exercises, I find that pretty fun to just track. How accurate it is, I honestly don't know, but this watch is... It's gonna make it so hard for me to change to my other watches right now. It's so fun to see things moving, to see my, you know, music, to get my messages. The Apple MS watch is definitely one of those high luxury technology price points and it's something that you would need to replace, but it's something that I would absolutely replace when the time is up. Luxury and niche perfumes is something that I would buy over and over again. Of course, this is quite personal because, you know, it really depends on the smell. But I have been getting into it more and more right now with the whole Baccarat Rouge 540 and then Portrait of a Lady. But even before all of that, my first and still is one of my favorite, I think top, top favorite perfumes niche and luxury is Anik Gutal. So I have several of them. The first was gifted to me many, many years ago. I'm talking like eight, maybe nine years ago, I got my first, not this bottle, because I've gone through a few of them, the Petite Sherry from Anik Gutal. And this is her old bottle. So they have rebottled it. It's more modern and it's no longer called Anik Gutal. It's just called Gutal. So I have the Petite Sherry, that's one. I have Mandragore, which unfortunately they have discontinued. And then I have this Lily the I'm not really sure how it smelled, I mean, how it said. But I love, oh my gosh, I love the perfumes. It's so delicate and just refined. And if you're looking for something that is not too intense, but yet is unique in its own, try Gutal because her perfumes are just different. It's very feminine. They do have a more masculine line, but it's that refined, delicate, almost ladylike, but soft and just very sophisticated. Oh, it's so, it's so beautiful. I have gotten so many compliments. Every time I wear Petite Sherry, this would make an amazing gift. It is expensive. Like yesterday I went out and I was thinking of buying another bottle of Petite Sherry and a hundred mils was almost a thousand ringgit. It's a lot, like it's luxury. It's gone up in price so much, but you would not be disappointed if you're looking for something that you can wear during the day. If you compare these perfumes to say like the Portrait of a Lady, Baccarat Rouge, in terms of its staying power, in terms of its projection, I would say it's moderate. It's one of those that you enjoy for yourself. It's not something that you would want it to like project out and get everybody to be like, what is going on, right? It's very, very subtle and just very beautiful. So 
I love Gatal, so this is one brand of luxury perfumes that I would buy over and over again. As a whole of luxury perfumes, I'm exploring and if I find something that I love, like this, oh my gosh, I would buy over and over again. Let me just put a little bit because it's that good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so good. Let me show you a couple of bags that I would buy over and over again. And some of you would say they are SLGs, but I feel like these are the new handbags. Micro bags. So I have two with me right now. This is the micro or round clutch. And I also have my Fendi Nano Baguette. I also have the Chanel top handle. Now I'm actually selling this, but we'll see. You know, like if nobody buys it, I don't actually <laughs> have an issue because these micro bags or luxury small leather good bags with chain, they are so good. Of all, okay, like the top handle that I have from Chanel, I have this Fendi. I use the Fendi the most because it's kind of tinier. It's like a small card holder. I love the little charm and I put my cash. Let me just show you my cash, my cards, and I'm just out the door with everything that's happening. I don't really want to carry a bigger bag. But even though I'm carrying a bigger bag, I put this into my bigger bag. I hang it at the handle. It's so convenient. Like, this is something that I will buy over and over again. Totally converted to micro bags. And if you ever get a chance to try one, I am pretty sure you would not be disappointed. Luxury skincare, one that I would buy over and over again, and I've raved about this for years on my channel, is SK2. SK2's facial treatment essence. This is bottle number, I don't know, nine <laughs> so many i've gone through so many of the large bottles the small bottles combined i think i've gone through like eight big bottles over the years this is something that for me my skin loves it hydrates my skin after i wash my face the skin can feel dehydrated like actually dry and all the moisture is being sucked out splash a couple of you know drops of the facial treatment essence feel like my skin just goes back into its neutral spot. The pH is balanced. It feels calm. I love this. Every time I swap away from it, I try another brand, which is the Estee Lauder's. Something like Micro Essence. It's good, but it's not as good as this. This has a kind of almost sticky, thicker texture that when it's on your skin, it actually feels like it's being sucked in. It's so strange. You think it's water, but it's actually got a consistency that it's a little bit more dense. It's not as like clear or as liquidy as water. What's the, it's not as, that's a term for it. But anyway, this is more dense. It's got more of that consistency, a thicker texture, though it looks like water, but it's not. So, oh my gosh, this luxury item, skincare i would buy over and over again i you know i can skip serums i can skip um what else serums and all this other kind of toner items i can skip that give me this give me a good moisturizer and some eye cream right now today with my my skin and my age i am good to go i don't need all kinds of fancy things anymore this is definitely one that i would buy over and over again final luxury item that i will buy over and over again though I don't think I can afford to buy over and over again, is my Birkin. Oh my god, let me just take it out. It's the whole experience of receiving this, getting it into my hands, the just... Oh my gosh, I would buy this over and over again if I could afford it. I think now I understand why so many people have so many Birkins. They have in different colors, in different materials, Swift, Clemence, Epsom, Togo, or if they have Togo, they have maybe, obviously if they have a lot, they can go with the Essos. They have different hardwares, different, I guess, patterns. Some of them have patterns on it. It's just such an amazing bag. I would buy this over and over again if I could afford it. But if I were to, say, get one more, I would be so happy. So my Birkin is something that I have always wanted in my collection. 
buying from the store. So it's not only just having the Birkin, but it's getting it from the store. That's always been something like, oh my gosh. So yeah, one luxury, very, very high end luxury item that I would buy over again. I would go through what I went through over and over again if I could afford it. And yeah, get this. So those are all the luxury items that I will buy over and over again. I, <laughs> some of them, obviously, I don't think I could ever afford to buy over and over again like the Birkin, but it's in the dream and it's in the heart because I love them so much. So thank you to Amy for tagging me in this video. I would tag some amazing YouTubers in the description section down below. I hope to see your videos as well. And yes, don't forget to check out Anna Luisa. Um, remember, like I said, if you are looking for something for yourself or a gift for someone or someone loved one, your mom, your sister, whoever, okay, go and check them out. They have amazing, amazing pieces. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, everybody, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!